a lot of people on the chat looking forward to the action today and uh, well that's the start we wanted to see this one will go all the way to the boundary Cuatro Guerreras Rohit Narayanan back on strike and he gets another full delivery this one's one oh he hasn't dealt with this well at all as the fielder throw in another message later Di Maria let's go with over number three and it's launched high and far or well, Aravin has been a little bit quiet so far. Nothing quiet about that. Maximo! Six runs to the challengers. And he tries. This one is dragged, and it's dragged pretty hard. And that's another one that is going to find the boundary. Cuatro Carreras Mas. Six and four. And we know what that means. He's hungry for more. And he is, but he might have got greedy. This is up in the air. Keeper should be taking it. He doesn't want to, but the fielder holds on to it. So, well done. Catch taken. Arvin is delighted with the outcome. Of course he is. He just got blasted for two boundaries. That will be the end of the batter. Arvin will go. Likon says, yeah, I got me, man. So that makes it a bit easier to keep up. Now, this is a thick outside edge. It's going to fly away, and that's going to be four. So, Hasselrath off the mark. Well. And I've jinxed him because there's a hanging full toss. That'll be a no <laughs> ball. Plus, it'll be... Uh, Maximo and well it's deep in his crease and that was an easy call wasn't it that's awesome right third time lucky for him and hitting the order barn was fun as this one is fun and well I was flying just like the Grizzlies are this morning well that's two sixes on the spin well that's how to deal with the free hit he clubs it away yeah, that is. Well, shot. this is well. This is the sort of speed I go at. I don't go slow. I go big, and that's called cool big as well. That goes all the way. Bale, bale, lovely shot. Yeah. This is up. It's in the air, and the fielder can't get there. Maximo. Well, it's a little slice, but there's nothing little about it as it carries the fielder. It's quite a remarkable shot. Right in the air, and this is in the gap, and so it'll be four, one bounce, and that was all about the placement that time, Mariana. Getting moving, cash up. Anyway, this is up and it's going to be four more. This time a little bit short from cash up. So another boundary, the raining boundaries at the moment. And uh, then it was the, the run out created by the bowler. Chance first. Let's talk about this. That's a really good catch taken by Akshay Jani. Nicely held and they needed that breakthrough big time, didn't they? And uh, it's uh, Hasima that will go. Well, what a good catch this is. Well, last ball of the over, he leans back on this and he gets plenty of height and I think he's got the distance as well. Or does he? Yes, I think he has. Maximo! Mariana with the six to close out the over. Six overs down now, it's 84 for two. Don't forget the second as this one is blasted away and will be four runs, another nice shot. So Gunther now in on the act. As this is in the air, it hasn't really got it. A bit of work for the fielder to come in, and he will take it. It's another upwards drop, and it's Dani that takes the catch. This time he had to hit it full steam ahead, but he did. Gunter goes for five, and the challenger is 90 for three. Another good catch from Dani. He's on the boundary. Oh. Your skin all shrivels up. All right, this is an edge. It's probably flying away. It'll test the outfield. It's going, it's going, and it is gone. just going to reach the rope. Yeah, four run. Corey, oh, well, you. that one might actually land in Spain because that's gone a long way. It's into the car park, I think. Maximo! Well, Narayana may have not faced too much, but when he has, he's been pretty good. And this time he bounces it again, and it won't bounce on the field again. Maximo! As Narayana brings up his 50 off 19 balls. He's brought up the 100 during the over as well, and he's put the challengers in a very good position here in match 16. Yeah, well batted indeed to the skip. Yes, yeah, so Sanka Sanka. Brings it back a little bit, but he'll pay the price. Maximo! And Donkey goes, Donk, take that. Into the bushes, six runs. And yeah, nice stuff. Okay, Sanka, what can he do about the last one? Well, this is what he can do. He can go full, and he hits the stumps. A dot ball, and that's a bonus. There's a Donkey just tries to give himself a little bit of room by moving towards the leg side. But he, uh, well, he leaves the void, and the bowler gets through it. Knocks him over, juggle the foot style. And he's, he's very focused on staying outside the off stump. This one's just dabbed away, and it's going to go for four. Well, remarkable timing from Nanda, given the circumstances. 120 on the board, Vinny. Now, this is slashed away as well. They've got a bit more protection down there, but it's not going to matter. He's going to overrun the ball, and it's going to be four once again. And he's thinking large again. 
And he'll smack it. Oh, standard deliver job from Narayana, who's really come out of the box here. End of the ninth. All happening in the ninth and the challenges. 137 for four after nine. But can you do it again? See? Again, pretty close. Yeah. Almost hits the sawdust. That would have been, that would have been amazing. Now they want to, and it should be a run out. I think it will be a run out. Oh, well, it's going to be a, it's a wipe out. It's a run out and a wipe out. You're right. But that's all about getting Narayana back on strike. I thought yeah. maybe they could have gone keepers in and tried to nail him down. That's really good unselfish stuff by Nanda, who reads the situation. He knows he's dispensable and says, look, yeah, come on. Come back. I've got you covered. If we could keep a batter. Oh, well, this is why he wanted to get on strike. And this one belongs to the man who gets one out. This this six belongs to Nanda because he was the, the unselfish batter. 68 and counting. Three to come now. And Danny gets driven again. Just misses York and gets blasted through the gap. And that should bring it up. This is going to be straight. And it's going to be one bounce four. So Narayana... Moves to 76. Again, you go back about three minutes and Nanda basically running himself out to get Narayanan off strike. It's paid dividends since then. We've gone 6-4-4. Four, four. Time to go for broke. And they won't advance the score. So Narayanan will finish not out on 76. Kind of caught up, didn't he? Because he didn't have any of the strike yeah. uh, early on. I had about two balls and over, but he got most of it late in the piece. And he's the architect of this very healthy score. 155 for three for the challenges in the first innings of the day. 154 for Colin CC. And he chases a wide one first up, and he's going to get four. So, yeah, slashing. Bit of luck for Dani, but he is off the mark. As this is hit into the gap, that'll be four. So, it certainly is a pretty good start at the moment for Clone CC, isn't it? As they move up to 26 off just an over and a half. A little bit short and pounded. It's a really good shot. He's all over that like a rash. A little bit short of a length. Maximo! Dani getting moving. Uh, this is a really good shot was involved in another run out where he threw the ball in. So he was involved in eight of those wickets. Well, this one is going to be four. It's a, it's a good hit. Deep cover. Long off back. So it goes across the line. It goes well. Maximo. He's got a little bit of length there from Patel, who goes the journey. Yeah, well, you might as well add a few more to the scoreboard. Last ball, the power play coming up. And they will get the 50 with this. But how many will it be? It'll be four. So Dani moves to 26. Short top heads, and this has to be a keeper's catch. Karanam is going back, and he'll drop it. Oh, well, I mean, he made the ground, didn't he? He was on the long march. Yeah. And in the end, I think it actually kind of blows back at him a bit. Might have just got him in the collarbone. That was a definite opportunity to get rid of Sasanka Sanka. He knows he should have held on to it. As it is, it'll be a single back to Dani. He wants to cash in last ball. The over gets a slow ball and deposits it. Maximo! Well, sliding doors, how that might have been different if that had been taken, because it would have been the new batter was on strike. Dante comes on, and he's going to get hit, but the fielder's got a chance here, and he takes it. They get the breakthrough, so the partnership of 62 comes to an end, and, uh, well, Sanka looks like he's a man that's going to have to depart, and probably to the delight, you'd have to say, of the wicketkeeper. Uh, Gundy ball, and this should go all the way. I think it's the case of Manos Arriba, 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 Bitro. Uh, you'll go to Rome, won't you? I'll, I won't have an Italian adventure this year. I'll have a bit of a break, but you'll see me back for the big one. And he does, and that's going to travel out of the ground. Maximo! Right on cue, Dani moves into the 40s. And a bit of luck there for Clone CC. And now they're going to slice away all the way over point for six. Maximo! How quick things can change at the end of another over. The hundreds up for Clone CC. It's 100 for one. Yeah, they also did take the two. And you can see straight away when this was smashed that it was uh, Deepak who then holds his head. Good news is, oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> you knew it was going to happen. Oh, you knew it was going to happen. And uh, this is what he does, Nikhil Patil. He says, well, if it's, you're going to walk out the crease, they're going to have you. You know what? It's such lazy batting. I know you can say what you like about this. Where's Demi Wilde going? Where's he going? You see, he's not watching. 
and he's gone. And Patil, there's no question he's going to appeal for this. Both the same batters out there. They thought, yeah, we know what you do. We're not moving our crease. You might not have seen the last one either. And this is gone. And just like before, it sparks him into action as oh. he yorks Dani. And Patil is on fire. There's three wickets down now. It's 100 for three. Yeah, and he does well. Look, he celebrates. He's on fire. And he does the old Ronaldo celebration as well. And they'll get some runs here because this is not a good ball from Patil and it's going to be whipped away for four. And it goes straight and it goes well over. Long off. Maximo. Knock, knock. Who's there? That one's hit the production van. Wakey, good morning wakey, to Helena. Helena. <laughs> Six <laughs> runs. Claim CC staying alive. And Palmer's made a really good start here. There's this one is going to go all the way as well. And is this a little bit of the helicopter? Well, Manos Arriba Arriba from the Albitro. What a hit this is. Super. Excellent stuff. And being able to zoom in. Well, this is good work for the bowler as well because he gets the wicket for Jagandeep Singh. But more importantly, the ball becomes a dot. So Jagandeep, when he plays his little part in getting his team close, does he scores a quick 5-13 of four deliveries, but he has to go. The bail gets knocked off by the bowler. This will be done. Legal delivery, so it will be it. Nice finish, though, from Panwa, who launches it, but he'll be frustrated in the end. It'll be five runs the margin. Well, we don't get to the 300, but we get pretty close. 299 runs here in match 16. The final score, though, the challengers win the derby. They get 153, Clone CC 148.